right, folks, Bipolar and Actual coming to you from God's country. So, just want to make this video as I'm doing my normal spiritual thinking, if you will. If that makes sense. Uh, I've been thinking a lot. Maybe like I mentioned before. And, uh, you know, what I find is a lot of people don't, um, if you will, talk with their hearts. They act with their minds and not with their heart. And uh, I think that's why we have a lot of problems these days, honestly. Here in the knee jerks instead of thinking with your heart, acting with your heart. I mean, look at this around here. I mean, this is, this is amazing out here. And you gotta think, with all the problems going on, it's good versus bad, good and evil. A lot of people don't sit there and really reflect, take a walk like this. They really think from down here in the heart. That's what I'm trying to do, you know? I'm trying to imply that to everybody else. This is a problem in this world right now. Nobody really thinks from the heart as much. I mean, it's just more of a, I say, um, you know, the proverbial knee-jerk reaction to everything and they think with their minds and not with their hearts and they think with other things that I'm not going to say. You can't live a good life. So to those of you who sit out there and think to yourself like, oh, I'll be okay, you know, it's just as if I go and hurt someone just because I think they may have hurt somebody or, you know, what the BLM is doing, Antifa. Them. They think that everything's okay, that uh, it's justice, and no life matters unless uh, black lives matter. I'm not thinking from the heart. You need to start doing that. For those of you watching this, and those of you who are not, I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means. I've done a lot of thinking from more here. I know it sounds weird. Because that's the part of your body that actually creates thoughts. But there's more to it than that. You have to think from below in the heart. You have to let your heart do what it needs to do. Come out and enjoy the world around you. And really think. Because if you can honestly lay your head down at night, knowing in your heart that you screwed up on something, then you need to focus again. You need to stay up at night. Realign the focus of how you're going about your life. I mean, seriously, you really do. If that's what you think. You think it's all about... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I mean, I know what I'm trying to say, but it's just, it's difficult to get it out because people just don't want to hear it. You know, I've had some life-altering moments lately, and, uh, good and bad, you know? But it's given me a lot of time to reflect, um, get back in touch with my heart instead of mind. I'm not saying that I don't think things through and analyze things. I'm not saying that you don't want to critically think anything, but what I am saying is I need to do more. I need to. Everyone else to align more of your thoughts in your chest with your heart. The whole phrase of you have a gut feeling about something. That gut feeling is something from your heart. When you feel something in you, whether it's to, I don't know, speak your mind at a Walmart, Tanner, in case 
case you're watching this, you know, or wherever the case may be, on a, on a damn freeway, for example, and you just happen to talk, you know, and connections are made between, you know, like minds and stuff like that, and you just go, wow, I'm glad I used my heart for something and spoke what was on it. Instead of just being the same old robot like everybody else walking around, just conforming to everything around them and not thinking outside the box and going, my heart doesn't feel right about this. There's something really wrong with this. And, you know, we're in a world right now that is just evil. There's no heart. You know what heart there is, is very little. So the whole message here in this video, I know it's kind of a weird one compared to my normal ones. But I'm not going live out here in the middle of nowhere was not the best of ideas. Kinda worked, kinda had glitches. But I'll still do it at some point once I can figure it out. But that's why I'm making this video here. Hope there's not a lot of wind noise on this. But... I'm taking the time to really analyze things and, you know, with my heart, not, uh, you know, not with anywhere else. Because like I said, a lot of things have been going on in my life lately in these last couple of weeks that quite impressive, I will say, but not so impressive in a lot of ways either. Um, you know, just things, you know, like hitting someone else's car and feeling like a total ass. You know, things like that. That's what I'm talking about. But, uh, no, I just want to make this one. And, uh, while I'm out here, I need some spiritual healing, cleansing, thinking. I just want to put that out. I'm going to put some more videos out. Maybe not like this one at all, but I'm going to get some more stuff going on. It's Labor Day weekend. I just throw this some people maybe about that, but another thing before I let this video go, I'm doing this out here in the woods, is I'm analyzing not just my heart. But also, in case something happens in this world, or I should say in this country, the US where we end up going into an actual physical battle kind of good to prepare. Analyze your surroundings. Get familiar with them. Memorize every little detail that you can. Preparedness. Because if you have to head for the hills, you need to know where you're heading and leave no trace behind if possible. Small details like after it rains this morning, come out here and see. Where would I leave a footprint? Where's the puddles of water? After a windstorm where the trees lay. Check out deer paths and coyote trails. Check out water sources. Know your environment. So if you have to plan for something like that, which I don't think it's an if anymore, I think it's a when. When it has to happen or when it does happen. I mean, it doesn't have to happen, but unfortunately people just don't think with their hearts, they just run with things in the wrong way. They don't step out of that boat, out under the water into the realm of the unknown, if you will. And go with their hearts. They'd rather go with everybody else's pathetic reasons that are not from the heart. So, again, think from the heart, prepare yourself physically, mentally. Know your environment, wherever you may have to, uh, quote unquote, bug out. And if you need to lay a battle plan, you need to know the field that you're uh, that you're having to defend. Whether that be your home, you be out in the wilderness, if you live in the mountains, know the areas, trails, streams, cliffs, ridges, all that stuff. If you're out here, know the landscape and the prairies. Every little detail. And just stop once in a while and just Listen to what nature has to tell you. Nature will tell you a lot. 
apparently still alive this video. But in closing, everyone who's uh, you know been with me on board for this whole time, you know, with these videos and this channel, honest to God, from my heart, because I don't speak always from you know my mind. I speak from heart too, and I mean that. I thank you all, and those watching later or jumping on board later, I appreciate that, honestly. Um, we need a voice out there. We need many voices, actually, and hopefully I can be one that inspires and helps prepare for things and gets you some knowledge and maybe even a laugh from time to time and my stupidity of walking around the woods looking, you know, look at nature. Ooh. Anyways, you know, hopefully it brings some kind of moment to your life that you can enjoy but honestly i do appreciate everybody from the bottom of my heart even if you haven't uh quote unquote subscribed i just call you a family member but if you haven't gone that far yet i don't know what you're waiting for but uh i appreciate you at least watching the video spreading the message and uh yeah the last thing about that goal for me, um, it's not me begging for donations or needing money i'm not you know that broke i work for a living so um, that's simply to help out different uh, organizations ranging from law enforcement. And I'm uh, going to have to update it because I'm also going with Wounded Warrior Project still. Um, you know, chunking out some of that. Bruce Keller, Ty Keller, uh, he's already donated the uh, first $50. And I, honest to God, will never stop thanking him for that. Anybody else who wants to jump on board, I don't care if it's a dollar, 50 cents, two dollars, whatever. You know, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. If you don't want to help out with that, at least help out with this channel. Help out with the message. Spread the message to other people. And get the word out there. Speak from the heart. Think with the heart. Act with the heart. But if you do feel in that way that you want to help out, just go ahead. Um, again, it's GoFundMe. And it's uh, Refund Law Enforcement. Check that out. I have a description there. And, uh, you know, if you want to, if you don't, I'm not begging. I'm just informing people. Because I'd like to do a lot of good in my life before I end up going, you know, for a dirt nap. Go on a great journey. I hope all of you are in the same place that you just want to do as much good as you can before you leave this planet. And I'm not talking about living on Mars. You catch my drift. But for now, folks, I'm going to get back to uh, spiritual thinking, and walking and exploring and knowing my environment. So I will put out a video here before too long. Uh, just letting you guys know, think from the heart, act from the heart. Stay safe, stay aware, stay vigil. I will see you all in the next one. This has been Viper One Actual Media Productions. Take care out there.